Okay, we're continuing in our message, Fort Hood Soldiers Gambling at the Foot of the Cross. And I want to read the Bible reading one more time. Uh, we're coming from Matthew 27, verse 27, where it talked about the soldiers that were gambling at the foot of a dying Savior. Let's read this right here. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers. And they stripped him and put on him a scarlet robe. And when they had planted a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head and a reed in his right hand. And they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spit upon him and they took the reed and smote him on the head. And after that, they had mocked him. They took the robe off from him and put his own raiment on him and led him away to crucify him. And as they came out, they found a man, Cyrene Simon by name, him they compelled to bear his cross. And when they were come unto a place called Golgotha, that is to say a place of a skull, they gave him vinegar to drink, mingled with gall, and when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. And they crucified him and parted his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophets. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. Soldiers gambling at the foot of the cross. And today I want to zero in on Fort Hood soldiers. That's right. Soldiers that are stationed at Fort Hood is my, is where my message is directed to. Because I would like to see soldiers at Fort Hood, I would like to see God get your attention and let you know that gambling at the foot of the cross, well, it's not okay. Last week we talked about how the whole world has been brought to the foot of the cross. We talked about how that uh, they mocked and they scoffed and, and we talked about Russian roulette. And so today I want to get into some of the um, some of the things that brings men to the foot of the cross. Number one, the Holy Spirit brings men to the foot of the cross. The Bible says that, that it is the job of the Holy Spirit to convince men of their sin. And today the Holy Ghost is not on vacation. The Holy Ghost has not taken leave. He is still convicting men and women of their sin. He is still pointing a finger at a lifestyle that is not pleasing to God. And today God is pointing his finger at Fort Hood soldiers that are gambling their soul at the foot of a dying Savior. The preaching of the word brings men to the foot of the cross. In 1 Corinthians 1.18 it says, For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to us who are who believe, it is the power of God unto salvation. 1 Corinthians 1.21, For after that in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. And Romans 1.16 says, I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God unto salvation. 2 Timothy 3.15, it says the Holy Scriptures are able to make you wise unto salvation. The true preaching of the Word of God, preaching by the Holy Ghost that convicts men of their sin, is what Fort Hood needs right now in 2020. That's right. We've got men and women out there that are their hearts are hardened toward God. Their hearts have left God. Their hearts have turned from God. And their back is towards God. And there they are with their eyes on the things of the world. That's what these soldiers uh, had. Uh, that's the problem they had there at the foot of the cross. That garment was a, a garment of the day that was for royal and they put it on Jesus after they took his own garments from him. 
and it had a little bit of value to it. And here we have the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords that was dying for the sins of mankind, dying for the sins of those soldiers, dying for every sin they've ever committed. And they can't even see that. They can't even see the blood that was dripping from the feet of our Savior. They can't even see the price that was being paid. All they could see was that they could score this raiment that was ripped from his back. All they could see is they could have a big win as they threw their dice and cast their lots at the foot of the cross. And today, soldiers are doing the same thing. They're away from home. They're away from their church. They're away from their preacher. And they're out here living a life as if God never died, as if Jesus never rose from the dead, as if there's no gospel to preach, and as if the word of God has no effect upon them. But God is bringing you into account today as you hear this message, today as you hear the Holy Ghost speaking to your heart, today as you hear what thus saith the Lord. And what thus saith the Lord is, is that God wants you to turn your eyes off of the things of the world and back onto Jesus, uh, who saved your soul, who rose from the dead, who has a life that's better than anything that this world can give. That's the message today. Quit gambling your life away. And that brings me to Russian roulette bullet number two. Bullet number two is the things of the world. Just as we talked about Russian roulette earlier, we talked about how that people on the internet, you can read articles where a teenager here and a teenager there died because they pulled the wrong trigger on the wrong gun at the wrong time. You may win now. You may have win last year, but sooner or later, you're going to you're going to you're going to pull the trigger on the wrong gun at the wrong time. This lifestyle of living without God, this lifestyle of thinking that God is okay with everything. He's not. He is not okay with drinking and drugging. He's not okay with the kind of music you listen to. He's not okay with these things because it's part of a worldly system that's under the darkness and under the power of Satan. And if you don't believe that today, you've been deceived. You've been deceived into thinking that God is taking a vacation, that he's asleep somewhere. But I'll tell you, there's light and there's darkness. And the things of this world has blinded men and women. They have blinded the true gospel of Jesus Christ. They have blinded their eyes to where all they could see is another night on the town. All they can see is living it up with their so-called friends. All they can see is the things of the world that don't even satisfy the soul. Doesn't even answer the heart cry, but leaves you empty, a loser, missing out on the things of God. Fort Hood, Fort Hood soldiers gambling at the foot of the cross it concerns me, it concerns me that our nation's children, young men and young women, away from home, away from their pastor, their preacher, and the life they left behind to serve our country are here at Fort Hood with no gospel, no preacher, no Holy Ghost, no call to repentance, no fellowship. God's speaking to you today. He's got your number. I believe with all of my heart, God's going to pull people out. Pull them out from Fort Hood. That's right. Pull them out from their friends, worldly friends that mean them harm, that really are no good for you. Pull them out of a lifestyle that's taking you down, 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 and get you connected with the work and the move of God right here at Fort Hood. what I have a vision of what God wants to do right here at Fort Hood. And I want to see souls saved. I want to see souls come and know Jesus and Jesus only. I want to see souls snatched, snatched from the grip 
of the enemy.